Four years ago, I started my software engineering career at all of these tech companies. And I'll go straight into telling you that my salary at Amazon was $112,000. My salary at Microsoft was $123,000. And my salary at Google was $169,000. Now, most people don't know this, but there's a lot more components to an offer letter like equity and sign-on bonuses. Anyways, there needs to be more salary transparency in general, especially with offer letters. So I worked at all of these companies and it looks like I'm collecting them like infinity stones. We use the stones to destroy the stones. Now, I know this video is long, but there's just so much information in all of these offer letters that I can't say all of it in five to six minutes. This video isn't meant to brag, it's meant to be informative. One day you might work at a tech company too, and it'll be really good to know a baseline of what to ask for. To help, I'll share details from every company that I've ever worked at and all of their offer letters. And if you're surprised that I'm sharing all of these details, it probably explains why I don't work there anymore. All right, so if this is your first time learning about compensation in big tech, I'll give you a huge overview about how everything works. But if you're already familiar with how things work and you're just interested in the numbers, feel free to just move to that part of the video. Here's everything that we'll go over in a tech offer letter. The sign-on bonus, the relocation bonus, the equity bonus, the performance bonus, the 401k matching, and the salary. That's a lot to go over and you probably didn't expect this video to be a lecture, but it's just good stuff to know. All right, so let's talk about sign-on bonuses. Sign-on bonuses are one-time bonuses just because you joined the company and they can range between $5,000 to about $150,000 depending on your level. That's enough to feed a family for a year. Now the catch is that you have to stay committed to the company for about a year to hold on to it. Otherwise people would just keep jumping around and hopping to company to company to farm all these bonuses. This is usually one of the easiest things to negotiate because it's a one-time bonus. Next we'll explain the relocation bonus. The way this works is that imagine you are working in a different country and you're trying to come over to the United States. Now what would happen is that the company will offer you two options. You could either get a lump sum payment, well they'll give you just a huge amount of cash, just kind of like another sign-on bonus, or they'll expense everything about moving over. So your flight, your hotel, your food, and they'll do this for about three months to kind of get you settled in. This is usually between $5,000 to $50,000, depending on how far you're moving and what your level is. And I've never had a lot of luck trying to negotiate this. It, it really just depends on where you're coming from and where you're going. The equity grant. So this is probably where the bulk of most tech workers compensation comes from. And this can range between $5,000 to $500,000, which is seriously insane. So how this works is that your company will send you company stock into your brokerage account every year for four years. So I'll explain it using Pokemon cards. So these Pokemon cards represent stock into a company. They all have values and some of them are worth a little bit more and some of them are worth a little bit less. If a company is giving you a $100 equity grant, they're giving you $100 worth of Pokemon cards. Not cash, but Pokemon cards. Now wait, the catch is that the company will not give you all of these Pokemon cards at once. They'll only give you some of them every year. And you only get to keep the ones that you've stayed committed for. So if you leave before a year, you don't get anything. After that, you can sell the stock of the Pokemon cards that you have for cash, or you can hold on to it if you think you'll be Nvidia and skyrocket to the moon. Definitely one of the most flexible things to negotiate, but it does run out after four years, and that's usually when people start looking for another job to kind of refresh their equity grant. Next, we'll talk about your individual performance. A target bonus where if you actually show up to work every day and you don't get fired, they will give you a percentage of your salary as a bonus at the end of the year. This ranges between 5% to 20%. If you work a little bit harder that year, your percentage goes up. If you slack off, your percentage goes down. Now this is one of the hardest things to negotiate and one of the most controversial because a lot of people don't see the value of working twice as hard for just a 1%, 2% bonus at the end of the year. Working harder might not seem like it's worth it, but saving for retirement is. A lot of these companies will give you 401k matching and a lot of people don't mention this in their total compensation. The 401k plan is the retirement plan that everyone gets in the States. And this can range between $5,000 to $10,000, depending on how much you're contributing. Now, this isn't negotiable, but what is different between each company is how long you have to stay there before you get to keep that bonus. Again, if you leave early, they might take back those extra bonus contributions. All you have to do is stay alive until 65 before you can touch that money. It might seem pretty far out, but your future self will appreciate it. The last component is probably the most well-known. Your salary is pretty much just given to you as long as you show up to work, do your job, and get paid every two weeks. Oddly enough, at Amazon, they pay you every month, and I don't know why. 
This usually ranges between $100,000 and $250,000. And what most people don't know is that you can actually negotiate this. You now know how compensation at tech works. Now we can start talking about my offer letters. Here's what Amazon offered me as a software engineer with zero years of experience, 3.4 GPA, and no internships. Keep in mind that all of this was non-negotiable as a new grad. So for the relocation bonus, Amazon gave me full service moving. It's listed here, but I don't think they actually mention it because it really depends on how far you're coming from. If you're working at Amazon, they'll probably move you to Seattle and you'll be able to check out a lot of things like the Amazon Spears or the Bezos balls and get a lot of free bananas. The salary is $112,000, which is insane for a 23 year old. I might have mentioned it before, but you only get paid your salary once every month, which is very weird, but it forced everyone to quickly learn how to budget their monthly expenses. For the sign-on bonus, this one was a little weird because they gave me $26,000 for the first year and $22,000 for the second year. It's really strange for a company to be giving people two sign-on bonuses, but this is just how it worked for them. Your first sign-on bonus worked as a lump sum, so you would get all of it at once, but then you would have to stay a year to keep all of it. After that, your second sign-on bonus would be given to you every month. If you leave early, you just don't get anything that you left on the table. I don't know why it's complicated like this, but maybe it's to make your first two year salaries look a little bit bigger before it starts dropping afterwards. Next is the 401k bonus, and I'll tell you right now is that this is a huge flop. It was only a $4,000 bonus if you stayed there for three years. By that time, you won't have to worry about your sign-on bonuses anymore. So if you're planning for the future, I wouldn't say Amazon would have the best plan for that. For the equity grant, Amazon gave me an equity grant that can be broken down as $4,000, $12,000, $22,000, and $22,000. All you would have to do is stay committed every year to see those company shares deposited into your brokerage account. From the way that it's laid out, it's definitely backloaded, but it's probably like that to get you to stay there a little bit longer, which is a lot different from how Google does it. For the performance bonus, you'll notice that there's nothing about a performance bonus in here. That's because they don't have one. You bring all of this together and I had a total first year compensation of $142,000. It's a huge amount and I know this is more than enough for most families to live off of. It was my first job in 2020 and I never want to take my first experience there as a software engineer for granted. But a year later, I moved on to Microsoft. With a year of experience, Microsoft gave me an offer and relocated me to Redmond, Washington. Now, relocation for Microsoft was a flat $4,000. They also had full service moving, but I thought I would change it up a little bit and get the lump sum. It worked exactly like a sign-on bonus, and I would only get to keep it if I stayed at the company for a year. My salary at Microsoft was $123,000, and this was paid every two weeks like most normal companies. You can tell right now that it's a bit more than Amazon, so it definitely pays to job hop. The other thing I'll mention is that the state of Washington doesn't have any state income tax, so that's a little bit more going into your pocket. For my sign-on bonus, there wasn't anything complicated with a two-year bonus, some monthly yearly switch. It was just a one-time bonus at $30,000, and you get to keep it if you stay working there for one year. Now, you probably won't work there for 65 years, but the 401k plan was really generous. They'll give you $10,000 if you contribute $20,000. Again, the catch is that you can't leave within a year, but at least it's not a three-year contract. So for your equity grant, it was just $25,000 every year. It wasn't backloaded, it wasn't front-loaded, it was standardized, which is very easy to understand. Now for the performance bonus, you can see in the offer letter here that it's between five to 20%, but I would tell you right now that most people usually just got 10%. If you put that on the salary, that's about $12,100. It wasn't a stressful place to work at, so it felt like it was handed to everyone. You put all of these components together and my total compensation was $194,000. That is more than 20% increase from what I was making when I was working at Amazon. Now you tell me if that was worth the job hop or not. My only regret is that this is actually in line with what new grads were making with zero years of experience. So I just wish I explored more opportunities. But after two years of experience, I made the switch to Google for a jump I never thought I would make. Joining Google was different because I was joining with two years of experience at a mid-level role. So not a junior engineer, not a senior engineer, something in between. I was there for two years and Google gave me a full service relocation package back to Seattle, Washington. Moving is really stressful, so I thought it would be better to let the company handle that. I had a salary of $169,000. I still remember my Microsoft manager telling me that's more than what senior engineers were making. For my sign-on bonus, it was $35,000, which isn't too far off from what Microsoft gave me. For my 401k bonus, it was exactly the same as Microsoft's. If I contributed $20,000, I would get a $10,000 bonus. Now here's the kicker. It was yours 
the moment it was contributed. So I didn't have to stay a year. It was just yours immediately. Really good to save for retirement. And if you're making a Google salary, practically everyone is doing this. For the equity grant, this is where the insane amount of compensation came from. If you're ready for this, Google gave me an equity grant over four years of $296,000. Holy crap, that is a lot of Pokemon cards. Now the crazier part is that this was front loaded. It was 97,000, 97,000, 65,000, 35,000. And if you remember that Microsoft paid out annually, Google paid out monthly. And if you remember that Amazon backloaded it, Google front loaded it. My God, as long as you're performing well enough, you don't have to worry about anything. Now, the target performance bonus was about 15% at Google. And for my Google salary, that would be about $25,350. All I would have to do is show up to work and do what I'm supposed to be doing. You put all of this together and I had a total compensation of $325,350. You are set for life. I will tell you that job hopping was one of the most helpful things to help me get a salary or a total compensation this big. Because every time you move from company to company, you get the chance to negotiate your salary again. And it gets to the point where it snowballs to be this big. I don't know what else I can say about this, but that this really is a life-changing money. So most people don't know this about me or Asian culture, but it's expected that you give your first paycheck to your parents. It's a sign of respect and gratitude letting them know that you're not a child anymore. You've grown up to become independent. I was looking forward to the day I would do this for my parents because growing up, we were always people who struggled with money. My parents immigrated here from Vietnam. They didn't know English that well. They didn't have an education. Both of them weren't working. All they had was each other and they did everything they could doing part-time jobs to survive. If you know, it's a really hard way to live, worrying about rent every month, trying to put food on the table. There's a lot to think about. I know they were always worried about me, but as I got older, I started to worry about them a lot. I worried about their health, their savings, their retirement. What are they going to do? I didn't know what the right answer was, but working at a big tech company helped me figure it out for them. And I did that by sharing half of my income. A lot of people would tell me that I'm crazy when I tell them that, that that income is yours, that your salary is yours and no one else's. But when your salary is more than enough for yourself, it makes helping someone else out a lot easier. I try to work harder so they don't have to.